finding a missing side length using scale factor. As you can see, we are missing the base of rectangle B. We can use scale factor to help us find this missing value. There's a couple things we should recognize that will help us solve the problem. Since the original shape is smaller than the new shape, this lets us know that the missing side length should be greater than 4 centimeters, which is the corresponding side to x, and the scale factor should be greater than 1, since we are going from a smaller shape to a bigger shape. This information will help us make sure that our answer makes sense and is correct. So there are two steps to find the missing side length using scale factor. The first step is to determine the scale factor between the shapes using a ratio or a fraction. And in order to make this fraction, we're going to need to determine the corresponding sides of rectangle A and rectangle B. The corresponding sides will be the heights of the rectangles, or side length 2 and side length 4. We know that we're going from a small shape to a bigger shape, which means the scale factor should be greater than 1. This lets us know that we're going to put the bigger number as the numerator in our fraction. So the fraction would be 4 over 2. And 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. So the scale factor from rectangle A to rectangle B is 2. This moves us on to step number 2. Multiply the corresponding side by the scale factor. So like we mentioned before, we have the side length 4 centimeters, and we want to find the missing side length of rectangle B. We can do that by multiplying the scale factor, which was 2, by the corresponding side, which was 4. And 4 times 2 is equal to 8. So the missing side length in rectangle B is 8 centimeters. Example 2. If we look at this one, we can notice that we are missing the height in rectangle B. We also want to take note that in this one, the original shape is bigger than the new shape. This will let us know that the missing side length should be less than 6 centimeters and that the scale factor should be less than 1, since we're going from a bigger shape to a smaller shape. Using that information, let's hop into the two steps. Step 1. Determine the scale factor between the shapes using a ratio or a fraction. Well, we have to recognize our corresponding sides. And the corresponding sides would be the bases of rectangle A and rectangle B. Since we know we're going from a big shape to a small shape, we know the scale factor should be less than 1 which means we're going to put the smaller number as our numerator in the fraction. We can make the fraction 4 over 12. And I know I can simplify this fraction because both 4 and 12 are divisible by 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1, and 12 divided by 4 is 3. So the scale factor from rectangle A to rectangle B is 1 third. Step 2. Multiply the corresponding side by the scale factor. Well, if we look back at our rectangles, we know the heights will also be corresponding sides. And we are given the height of rectangle A, which is 6 centimeters. So we will multiply that 6 by the scale factor, which was 1 third. Notice I put 6 as the fraction 6 over 1. 6 over 1 times 1 over 3 is equal to 6 over 3, and 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. So the missing height of rectangle B will be 2 centimeters. I have two problems I want you to try. Find the missing side length using the scale factor. Make sure to double check your answer, and then resume when you're ready to see if your solutions are correct. Let's take a look. The missing side length in number 1 is 12 feet, and the missing side length in number 2 is 1.5 feet. If you had either of these incorrect, I would recommend you pause 
and see if you can find your mistake. Thank you for watching.